as well. We're going to get going here tonight. Our officials, Tom Denauer, Ryan Dunham, and Crystal Apollanis. As Ryan Dunham tosses it up, and the Cardinals win the tip. And, uh, you know, Jess, the thing about this team, they can score it. You mentioned defense, and we see right off the bat, Sydney Taylor to Olivia Cochran for an easy bucket. And that is the ball movement that Jeff Walls wants to see. He talked about at practice getting the ball reversed and making that extra pass for the perfect shot. All right, for for Bellerman, you see uh, uh, Mia Brown, Hope Savori, Haley Harrison, Peyton Gray, and Cam Browning as uh, they miss a shot there. It's going to be off into Louisville. The big one not there for Bellerman is Gracie Merkel, who was the A-Sun freshman of the year last year. She's out with an injury. You see her there. She's missed the first two games and is again out tonight. They kind of built this team around her. It's a big loss for Bellerman. Cards with it. Cochran. She fumbles it, but gets it to Nyla Harris underneath for an easy bucket. And Jess, I think that we see the the offensive game plan for Louisville in the first two trips is just pound the ball inside without Merkel in there to, against Bellerman. No, definitely. And, you know, Bellerman came out in a 2-3 zone, and they're going to have to switch things up and make UofL play to not their advantage. Browning misses it. Cochran... And Brown comes away with it as she muscles it away from Cochran. Peyton Gray misses the layup. Kiki Jefferson with it. And Jefferson looks for a pull up, but she doesn't. Gets it to Curry. A little uh, jumper for Jefferson. And the cards are three for three in the early going. And Louisville off to a great start. Bellerman looks a little discombobulated, so they're going to have to you know, really pull together. This is a Bellerman team where First two games on the West Coast, they struggle with Sydney Taylor coming up with a huge defensive play there to Nyla Harris. Harris can't control it, so she'll give it back to Taylor. Olivia Cochran, and she takes steps. As we see the Louisville starters out here, we're going to get a sub in as Olivia Cochran is already coming out. Alif Istanbulu is in for Louisville. The 6'3 freshman from Turkey. Lots of uh, high praise for her. See the card starters there. Again, Cochran already out. I think we will see Jeff Walls use his bench quite a bit tonight. Steps called. Steps called there on Browning. So another turnover for Bellerman. Second turnover and 0 for 3 so far. And uh, just defensively, Louisville almost ends right now. Early on, Louisville doing a really nice job. Yeah, no, they're putting the pressure on Bellerman right now. Bellerman just needs to settle down and try to get a flow. Curry misses the three-pointer. Ball tracked down there by Haley Harrison. Harrison transfer from UT Martin prior to last year. Gray looks for the shot. Back door to Hope Savori. Savori with the jumper. Nala Harris might have got a piece of that. Harris then gets the rebound. And, and, right, and right now it looks like Louisville's length is really throwing off Bellerman's shots. Istanbulu the missed three. Gray with the rebound. She loses it. Browning has to track it down. Bellerman looks all out of sorts right now out there. 0 for 5 in two turnovers. Savori with the long miss, and uh, it's going to be a foul on Jefferson. Savori, Jessica, is a transfer uh, from Western Kentucky, a local, a Mercy Academy, 5'5 junior. She played three years at Western Kentucky, was the CUSA freshman of the year in 2021, and gives them some scoring power. No, definitely. She's coming off a UCLA, ga UCLA game where she scored 10 points, got eight assists. So, like I said, Bellerman just needs to settle down and try to get an open, easy shot. And right, that's going to be a, a foul on Brown there as we see Chancellor Dugan again, her 12th year here at Bellarmine. Uh, and her record at Bellarmine, 161 and 150. She has 481 wins in her 33 years as a head coach. Taylor passed up the three. Jefferson passed it back to her. And Taylor to the bucket for a deuce. Louisville up 8-0 here. And Kiki Jefferson is so explosive off that first dribble. Way to get to the basket. Claire Nuis in for Bellerman, and she gets it into Cam Browning, and Bellerman 
gets on the board with their first field go. They missed their first seven. Taylor with the three, off the mark, rebounded by Browning. A little quick, but I don't mind it because she was wide open. No, definitely. But honestly, that's what Bellerman wants UofL to do, to get a quick shot so they can rebound the basketball and go. Savori over to Harrison. Harrison the layup. It's Dambulu there for the rebound. She gets it to Curry. Curry to Taylor. It's going to be a charge. A charge there drawn by Savori. And she gets her feet set and just takes the charge. Taylor did not agree with that call, though. <laughs> and just outside of the uh, restricted area there. So I hope Savori draws the charge. Two turnovers for each team. And of course, Louisville picking up the full court pressure. Marissa Russell in for Louisville. Harrison brings it down. So Horry to the bucket for an easy basket. So she gets on the board. It's 8-4. An excellent take by Hope Savori, and that's the thing, you can't play scared against this Louisville team. Jada Curry. She's asking to come out, but boy, she looked good there. She drains that three. And that ball, that pass from Savori just over the head of Keelan, Mackenzie Keelan, who just came in. And she just could not get it as Nina Ricard comes in. And Curry, they just kind of left her. And that's one thing, Jeff Walls has really made his team know that they have to play hard. And that's okay to ask for a sub if you're playing hard the full five minutes. He doesn't need to have any of his players play the full 40 minutes. As long as you're playing hard, you're going to stay in the game. And there you see playing hard right there, Estambul, who gets the re her own rebound, and she puts it back. And then Ricards gets the block on one end, and she's leading the fast break. Oh, and it was a look good. She made the right pass, and Stambulugu just could not come up with it. And Louisville leads 13 to 4 as we head to the break. They're not just going to quit. By the way, for Bellerman, just to, to reiterate, Gracie Merkel, her numbers last year for a for a freshman, a son freshman of the year, 15.1 points and 11 rebounds per game. So they're without her as a bucket there from Jayla Butler. So they're trying to replace her in uh, now. They've got some uh, some subs on there as Ricards gets the bucket. So Ricards comes in and gets a play on the defensive end before the timeout and gets a bucket there. Yeah, I really like Louisville's ball movement right now and taking the open shot. That's the seventh player who's already scored for Louisville. And that's going to be a foul on Kinesse. I was going to mention that she is in, Claire Kinesse, for Bellarmine. She's actually their leading scorer off the bench, averaging 17 and a half points a game through the first two games. Yeah, Kinesse is one of those players where if she gets going hot on that three-point line, then you, you have to make her drive because she can shoot the ball. Cards, Russell, Nyla Harris with the move inside. And a bucket for Harris. That's four Harris. for Nyla. So Jeff Walls has already played eight players, and seven of them have scored. Good defense from Louisville. Ricards, Butler, and Ricards comes down with the rebound, and she'll push it. And Bellerman's doing a nice job attacking the basket right now, but just can't get anything to fall. Russell doesn't take the three. Ricards into Harris. Out to Russell. Great ball movement. Missed shot. Istanbulu with the rebound to Russell. Gets it to Taylor for a wide open three. Sydney Taylor with her 253rd career three-pointer. That's what she does. No, definitely. And great offensive rebound. Marissa Russell giving the ball, attacking that middle paint, kicking it out. And Sid Taylor just knocking down the open shot. A foul on Butler, so another foul on Bellarmine. But just look at the ball movement here, inside and outside. And a great job 
again with the rebound. Yeah, and that's one of the keys to the game for the Louisville Cardinals tonight is getting the ball reversed on the offensive end. They're not looking for just one pass and shooting it. Now, unless you're wide open, yes, take the shot, but the ball reversal is there tonight. And you saw Marissa Russell could have taken a shot. It wouldn't have been a great shot, but she made that extra pass. And whoa, lo and behold, there she was, wide open. So what the coaches tell you to do, sometimes it works. <laughs> Louisville with it and a 20 to 6 lead. Russell, she misses. Ricards, we're going to have a held basketball tied up there. And it'll belong to Bellerman. Braley Trice in for Bellerman. Savori back in. I think Chancellor Dugan doesn't want to see this thing get too far out of hand. Ashley Harris in now. She's got the ball and passes to Kniece. Bellerman has been outscored 43 to 25 in the first quarter in the first two games. And Jessica, that's the thing. They've gotten off to terrible starts so far this season. No, they have, but they've always found a way to fight back, and they're not going to go away. They're not going to quit. So Louisville needs to keep continuing to play how they're playing, and Bellerman just needs to step it up a notch. Rus <laughs> Russell to the basket, and that's going to be a charge. Kniece draws the charge on Russell. So the second charge by Louisville here so far in the first half. You know, excellent charge by Kniece. Marissa Russell, she was already standing there, so just jump stop and kick it back out to a teammate. Ashley Harris, the five foot six senior guard. She's another local. She's from Sacred Heart Academy here in Louisville. So they do have some local flavor on this team. And right now, Louisville is trying to not let Bellerman get in the rhythm, get in their offense. They are putting pressure, not letting anything make let Bellerman make any easy passes. And it's a totally different five. Not one starter out on the floor for Louisville. And you see the defensive pressure still there, as you can tell. Probably something they've been working on. No, definitely. And that's the thing. Louisville has so many different pieces. Mobley comes up with the loose ball. Ricards gets it. Mobley. Mobley over to Russell. Russell with the fake and the jumper. Make it eight players scoring column for Louisville now as Marissa Russell gets a pair. Louisville, a 9-0 run. And Trice off the mark is Stambulu with her fifth rebound already in this game. Physical presence, Marissa Russell to the basket, and that's going to be a charge. And another charge taken by Bellerman. And you got to give Bellerman credit. That's three charges just in this first quarter. Coach Walls just said, just jump stop. And uh, I think that's probably going to be a pretty good teaching point there because I think all three of them, if you jump stop, you're not going to get that call at De all. Definitely. So Russell comes out. <laughs> Just giving her an earful. But you got to take what the coach is saying, not how he's saying it. Kiki Jefferson, the transfer from James Madison, back in for Louisville. Harrison. Anise has yet to be able to get a shot up. Savori gets one up. Istanbulu with good position, and that'll be a foul on Bellerman. Yeah, that's just the fourth foul. So they were saying two shots, but not uh, two shots. That's the second foul on Brown. So four on the team, two on Brown, and Brown's going to come out. Jayla Butler's going to come back in. We have a soccer game going on in town as well. NCAA soccer action, and the Louisville Cardinals just scored the first goal of the night. They're playing, they're hosting Dayton Louisville up 1 0 over the Dr. Mark and Cindy Lynn Soccer Stadium. And there's Aaliyah Love with it underneath, and uh, she'll get some free throws. And, and, and Jessica, Aaliyah Love is a great example of, of how this, the whole transfer portal era, she's a little different than everybody else. 
She came last year, sat out the whole semester, and she looks very comfortable. And I think that probably helped her being around the team, even though there's not a lot of them around. She was around the coaching staff, and, and I, I think that's helped her so far this season, don't you? No, it definitely has. And that's one thing about her. She's She came from Georgia Tech, so she's played ACC basketball before. She knows high-level basketball, and she's got a high IQ as well. And Jeff Walls has said tremendous things about her, and she's just she's really stepped up the past few games. Istanbulu with her sixth rebound of the night, and she puts it back for her fourth point. Actually, make that seven rebounds. So a big first quarter from Aleph. Well, we're doing a good job on Kinnis. She's un been unable to get a shot off to this point. Harrison, a little step back there. In and out, and Love with the rebound. The Cardinals end the quarter on an 11-0 run. Make it 16-2 over the last 525. Bellarmine bench. Louisville with a 24-6 lead. So you're enjoying a little snack. Mobley fouled underneath. I think it'll be on Browning. It's her first. First team foul of the quarter. Louisville, an 11 0 run to end the first period. The Cardinals with it, and Jefferson with an easy bucket to make it 26 6. Jessica, one thing that sticks out well, the 3 of 17 holding Bellarmine shooting sticks out, but three offensive rebounds, and Louisville has converted all three of them 7 0 on the offensive boards. That it's. That's what Coach Walls wants to see on both ends. No, definitely, because rebounding is pretty much all effort. Yes, you have to have some height and some hustle and heart, but it is really just truly effort going after the ball. And then to be able to get that ball and put it back up on the offensive end is, is extra points. Mobley to Jefferson. Istanbulu with Seven rebounds and four points in the first period. Nina Ricards to the free throw line. The jumper misses. Browning comes down with the rebound. And Bellerman right now just trying to get something going on the defense and offensive end. Instead, another turnover. Seven turnovers. As we see the defensive play here as uh, not only does Jefferson get the block, but she blocks it off of the Bellerman player. Istanbul with over to Ricards. And back to the turnovers, that's one thing that if you're playing a great UofL basketball team or any great team, you have to take care of the basketball. A turnover for Louisville, number six, but three of those are charges. There's another charge. It's just on the other end. Kiki Jefferson now has blocked a shot, got a bucket, a rebound, and a drawn a charge in this uh, the first two minutes of this period. A good job here. Yeah, great job getting her feet set. And now on the other end, Chancellor Dugan telling her players to jump stop as well. Second foul on Cam Browning. Male high school alum. Jefferson looked like she was going to take the shot. That ball kicked out of bounds. We're going to get Kenny Van Schaik in for the first time. And Olivia Cochran only played two minutes of the first period. She's one for one with an assist. She hasn't been back out there. She's out there now. Yeah, Olivia Cochran coming off an excellent game against DePaul. Love the drive and the foul. She'll get a couple of free throws. Van Schaik, a transfer from Cal State Bakersfield, 6'3", junior from the Netherlands. She did not play against DePaul. She played some limited minutes in the first game, but you see her in the game for the first time. Leah Love gets the free throw. 
And those are some good ones right there, Jessica. No, they definitely are. And, you know, it's it's going to take some time for this Louisville team to really peak. And that's the thing that Jeff Wells always says. He doesn't want his team to peak in December. He wants them to peak in March when it's tournament time. And you just have to keep continuing to grow and to get better and to learn each other. And it does take some time, especially with this, this many transfers and new players on a team. He's got a lot of uh, tough games coming up. Boy, oh boy, they got a schedule. And he's misses. And Scheich with the rebound, and she turns it over. Gray in the corner. Fakes it to Harrison. And she'll get the bucket. The foul on Cochran. So Gray gets the bucket. Gray, the transfer from Monroe College with her first basket of the season. It's a good take right there. Definitely, and that's one thing. Bellarmine is getting some good looks at the basket. They just have to continue to finish him. That snaps a 15-0 run for Louisville. Gray converts the three-point play. Shike, and again, out of bounds there. Coach Walls not liking the eight turnovers, Jessica. No, he's not. And that's something Henny struggled in the past few games. I think she's averaged about three turnovers per game. And that's one thing that he was just telling her, no more turnovers. You're not going to play if you keep turning the ball over. Speaking of turnovers, Love gets one. She converts and then almost gets a second one after the bucket. So 28 to 9, Aaliyah Love. With the steal and the easy bucket. And then almost got the inbounds. But the cards get it anyway as Bellerman turns it over. Jada Curry back in for Louisville. We'll trigger it in. And just one of those other non necessary turnovers. Gray misses it. Curry with the rebound. Outlet to Love for the basket. Curry to Love. And Louisville's lead is now 30 to nine, 32 to 9. Gray into the middle. Shot missed. Louisville's defensive pressure right now is really making it hard on the Bellarmine Knights. Well, Bellarmine now. 10 turnovers and four of 22 from the field. Curry with the step back. Jada Curry. And that's a quick 6-0 run. Chancellor Dugan wants to call a timeout, and the pressure is just really getting to Bellarmine. No, definitely. Louisville is not making it easy for Bellarmine. Bellarmine just four of 22 from the field. The Cardinals lead. Can't sleep. Just a lot. Everybody else has to step up and just do everything a little bit better. Casa, Mikasa Robinson with a different spot on the bench. He's a graduate assistant for Jeff Walls. Starts with the lead, 34 to nine. Louisville 13 of 16 from two point range, just two of six from three. And Gray misses that one. Harrison tracks it down. Harris looks in. Robertson taken away by Love. And the cards are on the fast break again. Love, Curry the corner. Kiki Jefferson the open three. Roval misses that one, but Olivia Cochran is right there to put it back in Louisville dominating everything right now. I mean, Olivia Cochran just finding that rebound. We talked about offensive rebounds into putbacks earlier, and, you know, she's really grown over her four, four years of being at Louisville. The miss there from Harrison, and Von Schott runs that one down. Jefferson has it. 
Looks like Henny after those two turnovers, she wants to show the coaches she can do something. She's in the corner for a three. She misses that one. Gray with it. When you make a couple mistakes, you want to make up for it. And the best way to do it is on the defensive end with Jeff Walls, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, definitely. Nice. She misses the three. Bellerman now 0 for 8 from 3. And when they're not hitting threes, they're going to struggle. No, that's one thing. Coming into this game, Bellerman had to shoot the ball well to even have a chance with this Louisville basketball team, and they have not done that so far today. Miss of an easy shot there. Von Scheich is uh, the rebound to Gray, and she'll bring it down the floor. And Cochran takes it away. And this is what I love about Cochran. She's a five player, but she dribbled the ball full length, had a nice little jump stop to the assist to Jada Curry. She didn't charge. She got her <laughs> second. She got her second assist of the game, and the, the lead is now 38 to 9. And Cochran, a pretty interesting stat the past few games. She's been the leading scorer, leading rebounder, leading assist and steals. So that's pretty impressive. And there is a oh almost another steal, but they're gonna get her with a foul there. A little too much hands from Olivia Cochran right there. She uh, had her hand there. It's her second foul. You know, I like the hustle play, though, but Jeff Falls is telling her, just get around her, do your work early, so then you won't have to get the foul called on you. Russell comes back in for Louisville. Sydney Taylor back in. Oh, that ball. And that was the right Harrison. look. Nice back door cut, but Bellerman's just got to execute. Cards with possession. Just an update for you on that soccer game down at the Lynn Stadium. Boy, there it's a scoring, it's a it's a frantic start with about 20 minutes to go in the first half. It's three to two. Dayton over Louisville. First round of the NCAA soccer. 20 minutes left in the first. And Louisville's missed a couple of easy shots at the basket the last couple of trips here, Jessica. Yes, they have. And, you know, it might not matter in this game right now, but once you get down to ACC play, to tournament time, every basket counts. There's a travel. And Trice. Eight turnovers this quarter for Bellerman. That's 14 for the game. And this is a Louisville team. We see bodies rotating in and out of this game the entire time. Nobody uh, has played more than 12 minutes so far, most of them between 8 and 10 minutes. We're going to see that with this squad, aren't we? It's deep, and, and he can use a lot of different pieces. Yeah, definitely. And he wants to put players in there who are going to go hard, play defense, communicate, do the little things right. And right now he's able, with this game being so far in, in points-wise, he's able to see who can do that even when we're up, even when they're up 40 to 9. And you saw Jada Curry do it right there. She's got nine. Browning with the move down low. Rebound from Brown. Brown's got it in the corner. Savoria missed three. Mobley with the rebound for Louisville. Thought Curry might shoot that. She's feeling the hot hand, but she passes it up, gets it to Cochran for an easy bucket. Olivia Cochran. That's where she's improved her game so much from the last couple of seasons. No, definitely. And every day before practice, they do a thing called wing series, series where they pop out, low sweep, get to the basket, and she excelled it perfectly there. And she's going to take a three. She misses it. Mobley there for the rebound. And she's going to get fouled, and she's going to have a chance to get in the scoring column. And a great move, though, from Cochran. And she knew where the defender was. And, and just, it was, again, something a couple years ago she couldn't have done. And she did take that three-point attempt. We don't see many of them. She's hit four in her career. 
But I'm not sure he's Coach Walls wants her shooting a ton of them. <laughs> Probably not, but hey, 43 to nine, she was wide open. Why, yeah, I was going to say, wide open, <laughs> 43, 44 to nine, you can take that. ACC game, you're not taking that. <laughs> so Mobley now gets in the scoring column, and she comes up with a steal. Curry settles it. To Taylor, and she's going to get fouled. In transition, this is where this is where Jeff Walls wants to see Louisville get the ball reversed. You had Jada Curry drive to the basket, bounce it out, pass it up top, one more pass, and then look in. There you see. Cards have had ten players score already tonight. You see nine from Curry, six from Love, six from Cochran. Now six after that free throw added there uh, from, from Taylor, making seven for Taylor. And uh, that's what we're talking about, the depth. And, and it can be someone different every night. It has been so far. See Olivia Cochran putting some pressure full court on Bellerman. Mobley with some extended minutes here for her. Bellerman looking for anything. This is an 18-0 run for Louisville. And just the intensity on defense that Louisville's playing right with right now. That was, Jessica, that was a possession where they tried to attempt a shot three times and Louisville got a hand on the ball. Three different players got a hand on the ball. He's gonna have, he loves that one when they watch film, doesn't he? Yes, he does. And that's the thing uh, from just where I'm sitting, he, you could hear the players talking on the floor and that's what he likes to see. Russell misses it. Savori comes down with her first rebound. And I think we're gonna have a offensive foul on Robertson. And she's coming down the floor, so an offensive foul on Robertson. Again, this is an 18-0 run so far to end this quarter. 11-0 run to end the first quarter as this game has gotten out of hand for Bellarmine. And no matter who Louisville puts in, they just keep scoring. Yeah, and let me say this. It is not easy to hold anybody to nine points in two quarters. That is something, I mean, Louisville has had to get down in a stance and really play some good defense to hold a team to nine. Olivia Cochran with another strong move. Yes. And that's going to be steps called there on Bellerman. Right now, Bellerman just needs to settle down and try to run their offense. Louisville's make it hard for them, but somebody has to be a leader, step up and say, look, everybody take a breath. Let's work on ourselves the rest of this game and try to get something going. Jada Curry, and it's blocked out of bounds. It'll be Louisville basketball with 1.9 seconds left. So Louisville beat Bellarmine last year, 73-43 in Freedom Hall. They held Bellarmine to eight points in the first half. That was a school record. Today, it's nine. So the second lowest mark in school history if it stays at this, and it will, as the Cardinals have a 48-9 lead. Louisville ends the first quarter on an 11-0 run. The Cardinals end the second quarter on a 20 to nothing run. Louisville with 10 players in the scoring column. The Cardinals, I'm not sure what the delay was to begin the half, but uh, we're gonna start the half here with Bellerman possession. Nice gets it in to Savori. Oops, Savori, two points, just one for seven from the field. Kniez, their leading scorer, did not score. Savori in close, tries to get it up over Curry, and Jefferson with the rebound. Move inside, Nyla Harris. And Harris didn't get the play a ton in the first half. She picks up her six points, she's three for three. I thought Harris has been, a, on Sunday, was a real impact player with her physicality and the way she can score from different 
a different range. No, she definitely can. She can score back to the basket. She can step out and hit a 15-foot shot. And on the defensive side, she is so long and lengthy on Louisville's full court press. She gets the hand, she gets her hands on the ball quite easily. Another turnover from Bellerman. And that was one thing Bellerman came in, keys to the game, turnovers. They wanted to try to stay under 10. You see they have 19 so far tonight. And I thought Jefferson took an extra step there. She got to the basket. I think she was fouled when she got to the basket, but before that she did take an extra step. So that'll be turnover number 10 for Louisville. That's probably the one thing that Jeff Walls wasn't happy about. No, definitely. And, you know, Louisville's keys to the game also, they want to work to get to stay under 12 turnovers the entire game. Being at 10 early starting of the third quarter, not great. But I know it's something that they're going to continue to work on. Harrison missed. Cochran with the rebound. Jefferson in, and she misses the layup, but she is fouled by Brown. And that's going to be three for Brown. So Maya Brown, six points and three rebounds. Coming into this game, she's 0 for three with four rebounds, and now for her third foul. Uh, looks like she's going to stay in. Jefferson hits the free throw. She's got five. Uh, Jessica Jefferson, 18 and 18.8 .8 points per game two years ago. 18.3 last year at James Madison. She's got nine in the Cincinnati game, four in the DePaul game, and five now, six here. She hasn't had to do a whole lot, but she's capable of scoring. No, she definitely is capable of scoring. But when you have a team that everybody is capable of scoring, you might not have to put up as many points as she had to in the past. Savori gets it taken away and loses it. Taylor comes away with it. Another turnover, and Cardinals down the floor. Curry for three. She misses. Harris there with the big rebound. She not only took it away from a Bellman defender, but she took it away from Olivia Cochran, who gets the bucket down low. So Harris with the rebound, and then Jefferson feeds Cochran. And Nyla Harris over the past few games has really crashed the boards on the offensive end, and that's what this Louisville team needs her to continue to do to go far in the ACC and NCAA tournament. Jefferson. Taylor's going to pull up. Miss the three. Savori there for the rebound. This is the three. Bellerman now 0 for 10 from three-point range. Taylor jump stop to Harris for the easy bucket. And there you have it. Louisville in the first quarter. Three charges on that exact same play. Sydney Taylor jump stop. They get an easy bucket. We'll go to the break here. Louisville opens the second half on an 8-0 run. The Cardinals extend the lead to 54-9. The game. So far, Olivia Cochran, she goes to the bench. She's got 10 points, two rebounds, and two assists in 13 minutes of action. And the Cardinals are run away with this one. And Bowerman, Haley Harrison with a bucket, and it ends a 28 to nothing run for Louisville. Bellerman had missed 14 straight field goals. Harrison with her first bucket of the night. Louisville, Sydney Taylor to Jada Curry. Curry at the top, she misses a three. Aleph Istanbulu with the rebound, her eighth of the night. And I don't believe the shot clock. I don't think it reset maybe too, too much. They're going to talk about it. Crystal Apollanis and Tom Denauer are going to get it set over there. They're going to put it 15 seconds. Jessica, that is one thing this Louisville team is going to have to do better. And I think they will, or they can, as Taylor gets it in low and Istanbulu to Harris, and she's going to go to the free throw line. Just 2 of 12 from three-point range. They've had some open looks that they just haven't made. Yeah, definitely. And they're reversing the ball very well. Like you said, getting open looks, but they just have to figure out a way to knock them down. And that'll come throughout the season and just with more practice. But 
that's something that Louisville basketball usually can score at all different levels. And once you get into ACC play, if you're not hitting the outside shot, teams are just going to pack it in and make you shoot that. Harris hits a pair of free throws. That foul was on Cam Browning. That's her third for the game. So Browning played two plus years at Belmont. From here in town, Louisville Male High School, averaging seven and a half points and two and a half rebounds a game coming in. Browning has two points and four rebounds. Ashley Harris into the game for Bellarmine. Along with Jayla Butler. Harrison misses it. Curry. And Curry to the bucket. She misses it. The rebound ripped away from Jefferson by Butler, and it's going to be a foul on Jefferson. Foul number 12, Jefferson. And you hear Jeff Walls over there saying, good hustle to Kiki Jefferson. She had her hand on the ball, but she's got to rip it and try to kick it out. Jefferson's second foul. Gets her hand on that ball. Bellerman with Robertson, Harrison, Knees, and Harris in there. As Harrison trying to get it to Robertson, kicked by Jefferson. And it's just the defense is swarming. I mean, they're up. Louisville is up 58 to 11. And at some point, you think it's going to stop, kind of cut back a little bit but they continue to bring that defensive pressure. Yeah, and I think that's one of those tricky things when you have especially this many newcomers on a team is you don't want to pull them back this early in the season because they're still trying to learn the defense, learn how to play with each other. So even though it's 58 to 11, Louisville has to work on themselves. And defense has been a big key for them throughout practice and they've done a nice job of it tonight. Jada Curry with the running layup, she now goes into double figures. The third Cardinal in double figures. She's got 11. Five of nine from the field. And here's the first three-pointer of the night for Bellerman. Harrison with the three-pointer. Bellerman one for 12 from three. As we see Curry on the drive. Just too easy for her. And then a nice three from Harrison. She can shoot it. Again, 12 threes against UCLA, just one here tonight. Taylor to the bucket, and she's got nine. Boy, she can shoot it outside, but she really has got some, uh, she's got some moves off the bounce, too. Istanbulu to Mobley. And there's another bucket for the cards. And we talk about Louisville keeping up the defensive pressure, but same thing with offense. Learning new plays, learning to play with each other. You would think they would pull back a little bit, but you never know, I guess. And Sydney Taylor, we're going to take a break here. Louisville with a 64 to 14 lead over Belmont. Years from now. Olivia Cochran, she's doing kind of what she always does. At points, she takes over in the game. And for Louisville tonight, she's had a good one. Ten points, two rebounds, two assists, and a steal in just over 12 minutes of action. And she's helped the cards extend this lead. And she's doing a little dance right now, a little <laughs> Macarena. I guess when you're up 16 to 14, you can have a little fun on the bench when you're not in. She is, though. She's one of those key players for this Louisville team to make it far this season. She was uh, doing the dance right there. Cards with possession out of the timeout. Nina Ricards. Tries to get it inside and it's taken away. Turnover number 11 for Louisville. An excellent post defense by Bellerman. That's the first turnover by Ricards who played Quite a bit in the first half, almost nine minutes. Denise wide open. Istanbul with her ninth rebound of the game. Oh 
Love with it on the baseline. Fakes going one way. Misses the shot. Mobley keeps it alive, but Robertson comes away with the rebound. This is a group, a Louisville group, with uh, no starters out on the floor right now, and it, it might stay that way for a while. Mobley gets her hand on it, and Ricards is there for it. And she passes ahead to Love, who gives it back to Mobley for the assist from Love. Nina Ricard started that, though, with a loose ball, and, and just she is a player that Jeff Walls is so excited about because she's kind of one of those stat stuffers. She does a little bit of everything. Yes, she does, and just like that, passing the ball up front, and Alexa Mobley could have taken that herself but made the unselfish pass. Ricard's had a hand in that one. I'm not sure she'll get credit for that. Another turnover for Bellerman and Louisville with it. Istanbul with another assist. That's her third assist. Alexa Mobley takes advantage of that one. She has eight. That's six straight for Mobley off the bench. Harrison, nothing there. Russell with it. Istanbul with the rebound and the putback. She'll get a chance for a free throw. Alexa Mobley kind of taking over this game. Just it's ball movement and easy buckets. Ball movement and easy buckets. That takes team effort. I've really been impressed with a lift tonight. Just the way she's seeing the floor, she's going after offensive rebounds. That was her 10th rebound of the night. And not only going after the offensive rebound, but finding a way to put it back up. She's so versatile. It's, um, it's kind of scary to really think where she's going to be in a few months because she hasn't been here that long. That's going to be a hold there on Gray. That's her first. Yeah, she's one of the players who got here in August and was just declared eligible a week before their Cincinnati opener. Six foot three freshman from Turkey. She played on the 2023 FIBA Turkish U20, U18, and U20 championship teams. As you see, Mobley. Hitting the free throw. She now has 10. That's four in double figures for Louisville. Harrison, the drive. That'll be a foul. A foul on Mobley. And right now, Bellarmine's trying to get something going the past few possessions. They really tried to attack the basket and trying to make U of L foul. Harrison at the line. She's just two for 11 tonight, but she's the one I've been impressed with maybe more than anybody on this team for Bellerman, just her aggressive nature. She's always looking to attack. A junior from Clark County High School in Winchester, Kentucky, spent three seasons at UT Martin and was at Bellerman last year. She is, I think, maybe their best all-around player without Merkel out there. Yes, Haley Harrison, her first game, Scored 23 points. She can score the basketball at all different aspects. Hasn't had an excellent shooting night tonight, but she definitely is the one who keeps attacking the basket, trying to get something going for this Bellarmine team. And Istanbulu was going to go back to the free throw line. She'll have a chance to add to her total so far. Seven points, ten rebounds, and three assists. And she misses that one to and go Jody, along with a steal. She is just a freshman, and honestly, she is not playing like one. And it'll be easier to say her name by the time she's a senior. <laughs> a funny story. We asked four, what, four or five different people how to say her name, and they all said it different. Yep. Coach Walls told me, I don't know. I'll just say her first name. 
So, but she's having a big night tonight, and I think people are going to get to know her name in a hurry. Eight points, three of five from the field, and ten rebounds with three assists in just 15 minutes. Love, and there's Mobley on help side. Love, when you talk about defensive stopper, last year, Maca well, for the last, what, eight years, it's been Mikasa Robinson. <laughs> We can say that because we, uh, you know, it's uh, mikasa has been around here for a while. But it's been Mikasa Robinson. Is love the closest thing they have to her? Yes, I mean, just look, it's a 74 to 16 game, and she's up in the players' faces clapping when she gets that stop. That's just her intensity. If you're a player who plays like that, no matter what the score is, that's the level of intensity you bring. That is her first foul right there. Nice with the three. That's off the mark. Rebounded by Gray. Harrison. She looked like she wanted to take the three. Global defense collapses on her. Samori with the bucket. Driving to the basket and getting the bucket. She's got four. A nice take from Savori. That's one thing tonight, Kanice has not been able to get her three-point shot going, and that's really hurt this Bellarmine offense. Ricards, it's double. She's got a double double. That's 10 points and 10 rebounds for the freshman from Turkey. And that's five in double figures for Louisville. Ricards to Mobley. The cards sharing the basketball. 16 assists now on 31 made field goals. And now we've also seen Olivia Cochran and a lift bring the ball up full court make the pass and get the assist on a basket three-pointer from keelan mckenzie keelan a senior from owensboro kentucky gets her first basket of the game Stambugalu with it, tries to get the put back at the buzzer. It doesn't go. She's got a double-double in the Louisville Cardinals. Double-double for the Louisville Cardinals. 10 points, 12 rebounds, three assists, and a steal. What a night so far for Ayla. She's going to take a seat right now, and I think she's going to sit next to Olivia Cochran as uh, she is the first freshman with a double-double for Louisville since Olivia Cochran did it against Northwestern as a freshman in the NCAA tournament. Well, four, Savori, Savori picks up the second foul. I don't know if we'll see <laughs> Olivia or Ayla back in the game, Jessica. No, I... You know, once you get this big of a lead, it's one of those things where you want to put players in who maybe haven't shown as much at practice as the coach would have liked. So you put them in a game to see how they respond even when the lead is this large. Ricard hits the two free throws. We saw Aleph there, the shot of her. Again, a double-double for the freshman. Jessica, she's so versatile. That's the thing. We didn't see her really shoot the ball outside tonight, but she can do a number of different things. And at her size, it's that international flavor to her game that makes her so tough. Yes, definitely. And when she has her back to the basket, she puts that ball, when she gets the pass, she puts that ball up so quickly. But also, I've been impressive with her vision of the court. You know, if she feels somebody on that left shoulder and sees somebody back cut, she's may able to make those passes. And that's impressive as a freshman. Ricards to the basket. Ricards now has six. Nyla Harris, the only starter in the game right now for Louisville. The Cards have played 11 players, and they've played a lot of minutes. No one over 17 minutes in this game so far. And Louisville's defense right now and throughout the whole game is making it incredibly difficult for Bellarmine to get into any type of rhythm whatsoever. And Shuck with that foul. 
Savori throws it off. Love. Bellerman still playing hard. Savori to the basket. And nice take by Savori. She's one of those players who, yes, she's a little on the smaller side, but she can get to that basket. And she has shown she has not been afraid to take it on the Louisville defense tonight. Savori now has six, two rebounds and two assists in 22 minutes. She'll inbound it here after the Louisville turnover, the 12th turnover of the night for the card. So there they're at that mark. That's that kind of their goal, isn't it? To not get 12 as Marissa Russell comes up with a turnover and an easy basket. He wants to see him stay under that mark, right? Yes, they do. And that's one thing they've really been working on is trying to keep those turnovers limited. He would rather have a dead ball turnover, meaning it goes out of bounds so they can set up a defense where a live ball turnover, usually the other team scores. Kanise misses the three. Harris out with it. And the kick ball. I think he's telling Marissa Russell she was kind of running. She wasn't really running the right way. I think if she'd have been looking, it was an easy layup. And that's one thing. You know, the people at home may think 84-26 lead right now. Why is Louisville still pushing the pace in transition? And like we said earlier, it's such a new team. You have to work on those things during game speed. And quite honestly, they've played everyone a lot of minutes. As we said, Von Scheich is in there now. She's the lowest with, and she's in her eighth minute right now. Everybody else has played 13 or more minutes. Nobody's played more than 17, so it's been spread out. And I don't even think, Jessica, even in games that might not be this lopsided, even in games that are 8, 10, 12, 15 point games in the second half, he's still going to play most of this rotation, isn't he? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's really given everybody a chance tonight, and everybody that we've seen on the floor has done something positive. Love. And Scheich with the move. And Scheich with her first bucket of the night. And everybody has scored for Louisville now, all 11. Let's look at the Van Scheich and the, a good job of Set the screen. Nice entry pass by Lily Love, and that's just a simple, nice post move. Love is going to come out. Russell picks up her third foul. And Taylor is back in. Denise, and she just throws it away. So their leading scorer, Kanise, 17 and a half points. She has yet to score tonight, is 0 for 7. And when your leading scorer is struggling, you're going to struggle yeah, offensively. You have to credit Louisville's defense from early on. They did not let her get anything easy. There's a three from Taylor in the corner. Her second three of the night, and now she's in double figures. Louisville with six in double figures. She thought about it again. Instead, she gets it to Harris inside. Talk about court vision. What a beautiful pass. That's three assists for Taylor. Savori. Savori for three. Four of 21 now from three-point range for Bellerman. And Savori, the competitor she is, she's not going to quit. No matter what the score is, she's going to continue to play hard, continue to try to make it hard on the Louisville defense, knock down open shots. She's going to try to do whatever she can to get a little bit better throughout this game. That's 
the crazy thing is we keep talking about the depth of this team and the balance of this team. And Nyla Harris with that free throw is now the leading scorer for Louisville with 13 points. But Sidney Taylor has 12. Mobley has 12. Istanbulu has 10. And Cochran has 10. Oh, and J.D. Curry has 11. Yeah, the, the depthness of this Louisville team, no matter who you put in, they're going to do something positive. And hopefully Jeff Walls after this game can show them film. They have had an excellent defensive game. On the offensive end, they've done some things well also, but he's all he said about this team. It, he's not worried about the offensive end. He knows this team can score, but they brought it on the defensive end tonight as well. Yeah, they've, I would say they have shown it on both ends this evening. Steps call. Brown called for the travel. Well, let's see who doesn't have double. Oh, only only Taylor on the floor has double figures. So anybody else, and they can all maybe they can get a seventh one there. <laughs> Jefferson has six. She's got it in the corner there. Russell's fouled. Russell's going to go to the line to shoot two. Russell's got four points and three rebounds. She's kind of that do everything player for them, is she not, Jessica? No, she really is. And you know, she had a pretty good season at U of L last year. A key player. She's been there a few years, so she knows what Jeff Walls wants. And she's one that, if you leave her open, she can hit down. She can knock down a three-point shot, but also get to the basket as well. There she comes up with the steal. There she's going to dish it to Taylor, oh! and Taylor's going to score it and get fouled. And the Louisville coaching staff has, has to be excited about how his team is sharing the basketball tonight. Brown comes out after fourth foul. And Taylor is going to come out. She's now the Cards' leading scorer with 15. So the six players in double figures now sitting over with Coach Walls and the staff. <laughs> oh, step back there from Ashley Harris. Senior gets her first bucket of the night. Ricards, Russell. Von Scheich misses that one. Russell with the rebound. She got the first one blocked and then got it again, and she's going to go to the free throw line. But going to take a break here as the Cards dominating this one. Six in double figures. Louisville with this one, 98-31. And Sydney Taylor. She's the leading scorer on a balanced attack for Louisville. A couple of threes, five of eight from the field. Jody Dibbling and Jessica Limley McDaniel here. And Jessica, she has been really solid offensively. No, she has been really solid. And that's the thing. Sydney Taylor, leading scorer of this game. Last game, it was Olivia Cochran. Next game, it will probably be somebody else. We've seen a lot of people score in this game tonight. Yeah, Sydney Taylor one for eight in her last game as Russell. Hits the two free throws and the cards over the 100 mark or at the 100 mark, so the crowd cheers. Yeah, that's the thing. Sydney Taylor, 16 against Cincinnati, but just one for eight against DePaul and only three points, and that came late in the game. Butler. On Shike with it. Ricards. Ricards still pushing it. Ricards is gonna, she's gonna miss that one. Pretty good look there from Nina. I believe, did he call a foul? No, just out of bounds. I was going to say. Bellerman will inbound it. 
of the way Louisville soccer over at Lynn Stadium taking a lead in the second half. The cards up four to three on Dayton in the NCAA tournament looking for a victory. Pretty amazing stat for the Louisville soccer team. They've been in the tournament 15 out of 17 years, one of only six teams to do that. I look at that as kind of like this women's basketball team, Jessica. When you look at the Elite Eight, Louisville has been to 14 NCAA tournaments under Jeff Walsh and five straight Elite Eights more than anyone. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. That's the standard here, though. You come to Louisville to get to Elite Eight, to get to a Final Four, and to make it to a national championship. And this team is going to continue to get better day in, day after day, game after game. And, you know, they're hoping to get that big one at the end. Jefferson with the three. She now has nine. And Jefferson with the rebound, and she leaves it up to Ricard, who, well, she had a layup and just mishandled it. And that's one of those fouls there, Jody, where you're so far from the basket. It, just get down in a stance and play good defense. And especially with the score right now, three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. I don't think Coach Walls was happy with that one. Well, I was going to say, that's a foul. If it's 103 to 31 or 3 to 1, he doesn't want you making that foul that far away from the basket. Teaching moments, right? <laughs> exactly. He always has them. That will be one on the videotape board tomorrow. And a good steal from Ricards, but they got the foul on Von Scheich. And Van Schaik, second foul. Van Schaik, a player we didn't see against DePaul. Four rebounds, two points tonight. Just one for five from the field in 12 minutes. Another one of those transfers. Louisville basketball. In the game for Belmont, number 33, Allie Pedrack. Placing Trice. Right back! Jefferson with it. Ricards, love. Jefferson. Bellerman still trying to play their zone defense to make Louisville shoot outside, and it worked last time. But you have to get the you've got to get the rebound. It's a 12-2 run here for Louisville. It was big runs early in the game that put this out of reach. 11 nothing in the first period, 20 to nothing in the first half. That extended to a 28 to nothing run that pushed the lead out to 56 to nine. And Bellerman just overwhelmed early in the game. You know, and that's one thing that Bellerman can look at this tape and see where it went wrong. Chancellor Dugan can sit them down and say, okay, if UofL goes on a 4-0 run, you want to get that next stop and try to cut that off before it gets too out of hand. So Russell now has 11. That's seven in double figures. Seven and double figures for Louisville. Hey, 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 switch it. Let's go, let's go. 75 point lead, the largest hey, hey, hey. would be, well, the largest margin of victory for Louisville under Jeff Walls no foul. is 74. That was back in 2012 when Louisville beat Wagner 106 to 32. And if she makes one of these free throws, guess what the score is going to be? That same score. I wonder if that's something. He's so particular. I wonder if he knows or remembers that. <laughs> I'm sure that he probably remembers that game of some sorts, <laughs> some way. He's so good at remembering the little things like that. So it would not surprise me if that is in his head. Jefferson passes up the shot. Yeah, 
Love with the three. And good extra pass by Marissa Russell. She now has nine. And look at Lily Love, still up in the ball handler, playing defense. The intensity she brings is going to take this mobile team far. So seven in double figures, plus a pair of players with nine apiece. And you know, we look at the score right now, 109 to 33, but what I love is still hearing the Louisville defense communicate on the defensive end, and it looks like they're having fun out there. Make it eight in double figures. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Oh yeah, that's pretty impressive. And they're not gonna score anymore, but if Kiki Jefferson, or Aaliyah Love would have gotten one more basket, it would have been eight, Louisville. What a crazy night. And that just shows the depth of this team. Eight in double figures, and Louisville's going to score the largest victory margin-wise in the Jeff Walls era with a 111-33 victory. Jessica, an impressive, impressive night.